Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. After nothing but bad news on the COVID-19 front for much of the past year, hundreds of vaccinations began in BC this past week. The Pfizer vaccine, which was approved by Health Canada earlier this month, was rolled out in the province on Tuesday. And by Friday, 2,592 doses had been administered to healthcare workers in the Lower Mainland. By next week, vaccination clinics are expected to be set up in all health authorities across the province, and immunization will ramp up over the next few weeks. The most vulnerable will receive the vaccinations first, like healthcare workers and seniors in long-term care homes. The government says anyone who wants a vaccination should be able to get one by September of next year. And while the vaccination program is good news for the future, COVID-19 continues to have serious consequences in the present. 126 British Columbians died from the virus last week, including three residents of Oliver's McKinney Place Care Home. An outbreak at the South Okanagan Care Home is one of the more serious current care home outbreaks in the province, with 41 residents and 15 staff members testing positive. The pandemic also reared its ugly head at Big White Ski Resort this past week, after 76 new cases were connected to the mountain. 44 of the people infected, pe 44 of the people infected are Big White residents, as a result, Interior Health staff spent the week at the mountain testing residents. IH says transmission is largely linked to social gatherings on the hill and overcrowded living situations, where upwards of 10 people are living in the same house. Big White says they fired several employees as a result. IH maintains that the mountain is safe for guests though, as long as they only socialize within their own household bubble. Vernon City Councillor Scott Anderson is seeking to have the province reconsider its ban on in-person church services, a measure in place to slow the transmission of COVID-19. Anderson wants in-person services deemed essential, and he's hoping to have his motion in Vernon City Council heard in January. If passed, City Council will write, a, will write to the province in support of holding religious services. Dr. Bonnie Henry addressed the issue on Thursday. We saw that even though we were following all of the the safety protocols we had in place and as you recall we've been very consistent through this at you know 50 people keeping distances that even with those safety measures in place it was being transmitted in some of those settings and so that is why those settings are included in those that we know are high risk right now and this has nothing to do about taking away people's rights to religious freedom at all and Robert Riley Saunders was granted bail on Friday after his arrest in Calgary earlier this month. The former Kelowna child protection worker is accused of stealing funds from dozens of at-risk youth in his care, most of whom are Indigenous. Many of the youth were left homeless, sexually exploited and addicted to drugs as a result of Saunders' alleged actions. Saunders was arrested on December 4th in Calgary after an extensive RCMP investigation, but he's expected to be released from custody on Monday after he was granted bail on Friday. The reasons for the judge's decision are protected under a publication ban. His case will next appear in Kelowna Court at the end of January. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.